Hey, what's up guys, today we're going to play Throw Chaos, we are playing on Three Nights, and this is a new race. Well, I've played it a couple of times, but we were not very productive, so this is probably the one that will finally go to YouTube, and maybe it will be a successful game, because I'm playing against randoms. Most of the time, randoms are a little bit worse <laughs> than the club I play with all the time. The club I play with all the time, they know my strat, know what I am doing, like, and they, some of them copy it, or some of them do even better than me, so, yeah, it's just too much. Uh, the Draenei traits are pretty fun, so they have 10% extra HP, compared to normal, normal races. Their damage upgrade uh, benefits to all... Um, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 units. So only Tier 4, which is Artillery, is benefiting from these, and your base upgrades also benefit from that. Uh, your Barracks benefit also from melee upgrades, so yeah, it's just like a Legion, but not on the damage, but on HP. The buff goes. Um, I don't like very much the tower upgrades. I don't feel like they're that great, if you ask me. Like, I don't understand why there is this LE damage spell that decreases its LE by the cost of increasing damage. Doesn't really make much sense to me. Um, I, I would assume, like, r maybe range units are grouped up and this can fit into 125 LE. But they rarely cast it, and it's like, yeah, I, I just don't know. It's a bit rough. I didn't check the races, so we could upgrade where the good neutral building is. Okay, on the left, on the bottom of us we have Goblin. Uh, on the top of us we have Blood Elf. He also did upgrade uh, his barracks, so it was the right choice, I guess. And in front of us we have Troll. All these uh, races are kind of... Uh, Weaker than ours, I would say. Uh, early game, early game, so... I'm really thinking. Uh, the choices might be to upgrade either on mid or on bottom, but like, yeah. What do I get from it? There is a gold mine, and... I feel like I'm gonna be scouting if the goblin will upgrade his barrack or not. What the F is Lancer, by the way? I feel like this is what Blood Elf went for. He replaced his uh, siege unit with this, cause yeah, see, he has extra armor to me. So this is his foundation, the lancer, I guess. Might be a new thing. I never seen this before. Um, yeah, tavern giving six percent attack rate, and this one gives you damage on buildings. Not too bad. This is like armor for buildings, and yeah, obviously a gold gold mine. Hmm. Goblin is dominating mid, but yeah, I might uh, turn the table. He's not doing the upgrades. He's going for masonry. Uh, let's go mid, yeah. <coughs> let's go mid. I feel like I can dominate it, at least try to. Because he's not doing upgrades. I know what he is doing. He might do the second masonry upgrade. Um, the chances kind of rising. The probability. Talk about defensive spell. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The Draenei's have one of the most broken defensive spells. Actually, the most broken defensive spell. So this thing uh, freezes units around your main for 90 seconds, and you might wonder, like, it's not gonna last that long on heroes and super units. Well, it does. It does last long on the heroes and units. What does it mean? Well. Uh, it simply means that you, if you go for foundation that increases your mana regeneration, uh, you can play as offensively, aggressively you want, you can, and you just, yeah. This is just broken. So I will increase my mana regeneration, I'm gonna abuse the X spell as much as I can. Uh, because otherwise, Drain Eyes are pretty weak, actually. Like, if you, if you neglect that, Draenei's are pretty, pretty weak, in my opinion. 
I don't feel like they have much good traits. Um, so, yeah. You gotta abuse, you gotta abuse this thing. There are not many things that you can abuse. There are so many resources that I will never ever upgrade. Like, for example, spell resistance is very good late game, but when you have already a lot of upgrades on defense, but early game, it doesn't really make sense. Mana burn, never ever gonna upgrade that. Uh, self heal ability is not too bad, but it only affects tier 1 units. I just don't know the cooldown. If the cooldown is decently low, then I would actually go for it, but um, I don't really understand like if it's that way or not. You know what I mean? Like, I have no idea, honestly. I, I try to speculate, but they never cast it when I'm watching, so I would assume the cooldown is uh, pretty big, actually. Okay, one upgrade on units for Blood Elf. Because we are already having free to upgrade soon. A tier 3 by Goblin. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade on him. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade on him. We're gonna punish this motherfucker. We're gonna upgrade on him the barrack uh, and rush upgrades even further. This is ridiculous how much he wants the fucking middle. I should have not gone for that to be honest. If I would push him while he is going tier 3 on mid, yeah, that that would be much, much better. I feel like I still got my gold from the middle though. Uh, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, the beam, I just don't know if I should upgrade it to level 4 like ever. Maybe there is there are like hidden values that also the cooldown is getting reduced. But as far as the tooltip says, it's not making much sense to upgrade it. You have 200 LE, which is already pretty small. This is like 200 LE. And then it gets cropped to that. But the damage increases, so like... Why? Just just why would you go for something like that? Uh, funny enough, I'm still beating... Uh, like, I'm, I'm not losing middle completely. There are some annoying zeppelins with 1000 HP, but... Uh, situation is like not that... That bad, you know? Especially if I pressure his side, uh, his right side, I feel like he will not do much upgrades, but focus on rather... Upgrading his barrack or something, so it's really good because I don't want to go for tier 3 on middle It's too much gold wasted. I wanted to get a bit of gold from it, but I, I'm never gonna commit like heroes or tier 3 Whatsoever, I don't feel like it's a good idea Someone's blood always pushing me like that comes with a surprise. Maybe the lancers are very good like this new foundation Oh, I have a problem. My spell is still researching. I could see it coming that way, but yeah. Mm. I really wanna make the units when they're gonna be a little bit closer than they are right now. 500 HP. Yeah. I, I did aim the melee units because I assume my units would die, so I was scared that yeah the siege units would start pushing me. Um, I know, like realistically speaking, do I need extra units or not? I feel like I might be fine because it's only ranged units, right? So I can take his damage. That's like okay ish for me. Yeah, I just gotta start hitting them one by one. The low HP ones. Because my towers otherwise are gonna be super dumb and not do what I want them to do. I lost control of the middle. They have a battle frenzy. These Lancers are, yeah, they seem good actually. They kind of compensate for the battle early game on the Blood Elves. 
by making your unit stronger, yeah. Uh, better upgrades for goblins, so I'm gonna be holding this gold mine for quite a while. Alright. I have 3 4 upgrades. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, I would say. Yeah, the early game is not too bad. I'm just not very happy that I committed to the middle. I probably should have punished uh, the goblin, yeah. When you see someone pushing mid as the first barrack, you should just go after them. Like, that's making more sense to me. Than what I did. Because this motherfucker having tier 3. Like, that's becoming a clown fiesta as you can see. I'm not very getting gold out of it. Let's just check out GPM very fast. Uh, wow, red has the most gold. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, have these effing lancers. I've never seen them before, like I said. So they have something called uh, Battle Frenzy. Alright. So we're gonna get this damage ability first. Mm. Then probably continue with his upgrades. Slowly but surely. Continue mushroom soup. The one that you have to just remove the coverage on the top, put into microwave. It's a pretty good one. If you if you like if you don't pay I know only one dollar for it, which is like a little bit more. And order it in a normal grocery store then you, you can get uh, quality, you know, you can get quality for the price. Cause I'm a lazy ass. Like, I, I cooked for myself at some point, but now I just give up. Because y your uh, range of the dishes you can, you can cook for yourself is probably pretty small. And with that being said, um, you, you're gonna end up cooking for yourself exactly the same things you cook for yourself every day <laughs> because it's it's like it's a food depression when, when you end up cooking the same exactly same thing every day for yourself it's literally what uh, the food depression is called for right listeners have a really good region zoom you're playing the space goats yeah that's a bit yikes Mm. Alright, we are gonna get. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the caster upgrade and then upgrade the barracks with your free. Because that's where my power uh, just explodes, basically. Tier 3 barrack lets me have my casters with the beam and with two caster upgrades. Um, I'm gonna have extra range unit, extra air unit, and all of them benefit from these upgrades, so... It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Uh, Craft for Mercy, okay, so he summoned his hero. Might have been on the middle. I gotta punish him for that. Like, he wasted a lot of gold, and yeah, I gotta punish him for that. We're gonna, we're gonna summon the hero on... I mean, not the hero, but we're gonna upgrade the barrack on top. And say what the fuck, dude. Should I restore HP now or wait until barrack upgrades? I feel like wait until barrack upgrades. Nah, nah, you know why? Because your barrack will increase its HP. So 300 HP for like, a, let's say, 4k HP barrack will be worse than 200 for this much max HP. It's the same concept why people drop uh, HP item before they. 
uh, regenerate HP with like consumables or regeneration scrolls, etc. So yeah, we're still holding the gold mine against the goblin. Goblin is uh, pretty weak, pretty pretty weak right now. Mm, I don't even know what to do right now as well. I would continue pushing defense upgrades. Like, I know, if, if I upgrade my tier 3 on Goblin, uh, good things might happen out of it because he has no upgrades. But on the other hand, like, I'm fighting this guy mostly, so I feel like against him, tier 3 barrack and upgrades are better. Like, upgrades also benefit to your bottom, it's, it's like it's benefiting to all your lanes, so it's not too bad. I have a lot of upgrades to go. I can get eight upgrades. The Drenais have plus three to armor, so yeah, I can I can get a lot a lot of armor upgrades. Well, okay, let's get let's get yeah. This is like the sixth upgrade, right? After that, we're gonna upgrade on the bottom. This guy is like mercenary Andy. So to be honest, if I rushed him with tier 3 barrack, I would destroy his base. Like, he would not do anything. I feel like. Lady Leadrin, I feel like she has been buffed even more. So right now she's like a godlike hero. One of the best heroes in the games. In the game. She used to be very good because she takes only like 50% of the damage from ranged or something. Giving her HP, it's pretty a lot, right? Full of damage reduction. I have the blood of upgraded, he is better to tier 3. He does have very good upgrades. He has two masonry. Uh, no mana torrent, so his flying units are garbage. Uh, his base doesn't have damage, so... It's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna contest for the middle. Like, this idiot went for the tier 4, like this this team roller is a team for, tier 4 unit. He has a tier 4 barrack on the middle. Like, man. I feel like my barrack is going to destroy him, at least uh, cripple quite a lot. Alright, my powerful point is uh, the lightning arrows. My archers will have a chance to do a lot of damage, so... I... I thought I get it, but just don't know when, to be honest. Maybe uh, start getting it now. Yeah, start getting it now. Idea is the following I'm going to. I'm going to get maybe like the seventh upgrade on defense, then dump shit into masonry. I feel like my also my tier 4 barracks rush is uh, pretty good. I should I know why. It just feels this way. With a tier 4 I can upgrade uh cleaving attack because I will have three riders each wave. And I feel like having them with six damage upgrades and cleave is not too bad. So yeah. It's like it's kind of like uh, I'm I'm fulfilling the conditions for the ultimate weapon. You know, maybe maybe it's gonna be an ultimate weapon game, cause I'm pretty much mana based trace right now, as I stand out right now. Uh, Goblin is dominating middle. He upgraded uh, his barrack to tier three, used his mine, his Z spell, but he he still has a lot of mana, so he should be fine. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about the lightning arrows a lot. Plus the masonry into tier 4 barracks before I even go tier 3. Uh, resurrection will help you, but it's 1.2k gold. It's like, eh. It's really good. In this case, I feel like uh, the caster foundation is purely for mana regeneration. So you can get into late game, you can defend yourself with the spells more often. But I just don't know. 
Uh, Blue is slightly ahead, I wonder why. Why did he do that? He is slightly ahead. He's not contesting mid, just like me, so he's pressuring someone, I guess. I'm uh, watching closely if they upgrade their barracks to tier 4 or anything. Doesn't seem like a case. By the blood of the highborn. By the blood of the highborn. He summons probably kill on the middle again. He wants to farm this tier 4 barrack by goblin. Yeah, so maybe 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 the idea is like uh, four masonry into four uh base defense upgrades into tier tier four barracks. I'm gonna receive this push. I'm gonna might receive this push as well if he's gonna upgrade to tier four. Uh, lightning arrows. Yeah, lightning arrows is my best passive. So my archers have uh, ten percent and twenty and thirty to deal AoE damage by simply shooting. Like these beams, they they happen, but like, yeah. Again, against the blood elf, he just outregions it immediately, as you can see. It's pathetic, pretty pathetic. I could I could increase the damage, but like. It's still gonna be the only spell that I have, and I don't think it's enough to kill the backline. <clears throat> use the X spell or use the Z spell? Okay, I can't launch another upgrade, I don't have time for it, right? So, we cannot do that. I feel like tier 4 barrack now is the case, yeah. Um. Maybe get these. Yeah, let's get these, let's get these. So, he comes, I freeze his units. I shouldn't feel guilty or like anything about using my spells that often. I feel like because, yeah, I, I, I can compensate with the mana regeneration. It's in my best interest not to use any gold, but to use uh, this spell, you know? So, they're coming, I summon one unit so they group up a little bit more, and I freeze. Now they're gonna get killed, uh, eventually, hopefully, so... Probably like it's uh, regenerating back, but yeah. Great Imperic to tier 4, there's a hero on the bottom of me. Uh, let's up and yeah, let's keep upgrading now the range damage for Ballista plus my pylons. Uh, yeah, Cliff now makes more sense because I have a lot of these guys and I need AoE damage in some form. Cliff is a pure damage, so I don't like it affects only one unit, but yeah, I feel like it's my race, you don't have a choice. You're not a picker, you know, like you can't really say, hey, I want this. Yeah, let's continue getting this. Also get this. I need to launch lightning arrows low free as well as soon as possible. Pretty important. Could increase my mana regeneration, but I feel like it's too early. I, I'm not really in need to rush it or anything. Yeah, let, let's wait, let's wait for enough gold when I have lightning arrows. Uh, that doesn't look like a weak push. It's probably gonna be a bit of cancer, but I feel like I can kite it around my base most likely, so... Not very worried about that. I could actually uh, react with a tier 4 barrack as well. Because I don't care, if, if they're both gonna upgrade tier 4 barracks on me, my race can really, 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 like, play defensively well, you know? And because they have worse upgrades than me, who is going to fit each other? Uh, who? Like, I feel like they are going to fit me, right? Like, he's only now 6-3. I have 6-7. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm all ready. I'm, I'm really ready. I'm doing, like, the best upgrades that my race has, and it's pretty powerful, so... Yeah, because he has tier 3 barrack, he wasted 1000 gold, I'm gonna defend it, upgrade the barrack, and he like he has now tier 4 barrack pushing against him, he can't really defend himself with the hero anymore. You know, that's kind of logic. 
yeah, I'm like two more upgrades on masonry, three more upgrades on this, um, then upgrade on mana regeneration. Cause I might, I might use actually here uh, the crystals again, my X spell, but don't know. Let's see about that. Basically, Adrian is just tanky motherfucker. Like you, you see here, not taking any damage against my army with full upgrades for uh, tier two standards. Like, do you see that? <laughs> OP, isn't it? Yeah, 20 seconds, I can't really cast it. Like, this is ridiculous. There was a very big army coming to him and he reacted with only one hero and... Even more than that, he got away with it. Alright. Yeah, I see like his hero is frozen. <laughs> Pretty funny, isn't it? I could have kited at my base and take a bit more damage, but to be honest at this point, like why? Why why do I bother? I can just use the spell and defend myself without using anything extra, right? So why not? Just do that. Like, his hero is still frozen. You, you see that, right? You see that, right? It's a hero. 1000 gold. <clears throat> I just don't know what I say about it. Uh, sounds pretty balanced. I'm, I'm actually killing Lady Ladrin, and I feel like the reason is pretty simple. The lightning arrows have pure damage. If it works like Pulverize, this is pure damage, so it's pretty broken. And also Cleef. Cleef 15% is also like pure damage. Your armor is uh, like useless. Taking 60% from siege units, 33% uh, damage reduction, like that's just useless. She doesn't get any of it when she gets cleaved because of nearby unit gets hit. So if I kill her and turn around this fight, that's gonna be like super amazing. Um, I don't mind actually getting it now. Let's get the mana region, yeah. So this is my sixth upgrade, yeah. Um, yeah, then I would get maybe two extra masonry upgrades. It's like it's a preparation for ultimate weapon. If I want to use it, I will be able to. Uh, yeah, they, they're catching up on the upgrades, but I'm I'm with the head. I feel like so. I think we'll also be like off the cooldown again. I feel like when they come, so I can cast it again. <laughs> oh man, that's just uh, Green left the game. I wonder why. He has a tearful barrack against me, but once again, no upgrades on melee. So that's kind of weak. The guy was really, really, really trying to get his gold off the middle. I think I can afford right now a tier 4 upgrade on my main, cause the army is coming soon, so yeah, it's I'm not gonna be able to do it in time. So, 35% damage cleave in 150 LE by those riders. Um, I feel like I should not get it to low 3, like low 1 is enough. Crystal shards are not bad. Chance to stun on each attack. And now I have tier 4 units everywhere, so it's kind of making sense. But I also feel like maybe I should summon a hero and push the guy. Just to know. But wouldn't it be like more powerful to summon with. to summon super unit? What do you think, guys? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna save up tech. Progressive the upgrades, it's too early to be pushing, you know. Just kill her, like, fuck this bitch. You see, like, the cleave? Yeah, that's the cleave. That's the cleave right there. You notice it? 
like them losing HP simultaneously, that's the arrows and cleave. Uh, quite okay. Empower man plus one, two armor, two units. Does it affect the heroes though, I wonder? I didn't read the description. If it does, that's pretty OP, I would say. I should rush the mana regeneration, because I'm over-abusing the X spell. Like, yeah, just... Just go for the light magic very fast. That might be scary, but I, know, I just have a feeling I'm gonna deal with it without anything, so... And I won't freeze then, right? Because I lost a lot of mana. I have 1000 mana, by the way. Yeah, because Bunix have plus 12% extra, and then I have plus 10% extra as well, and that results in me having 1000 mana. Well, 1000 mana is quite a lot. Um. Uh, that might be scary. I don't want to use hero against AI, yeah. I'd rather save up. Trying to aggro them on my top lane. It doesn't really work actually. I feel like they changed the AI. Yeah, like, you see? It doesn't really work. I wonder why. Well, I killed this hero, so job's done, but I didn't really want to lose that much. Uh, Cliff. Yeah, like, normally they would aggro on top, the way I was doing it. I aggro them on one tower, then on second tower, then on main, then I aggro them on this tower, then on this tower, then on barrack, and I can go, like, backwards as well. But, yeah, this time it didn't work out, I know why. It's pretty weird. Uh, he summoned me Cal. I feel like he doesn't realize what is coming, so... Yeah, I'm getting 7-7 seven, seven upgrades. I feel like I can do the combination of um, Super Unit, Velen, plus Velen, plus Ultimate Weapon. To completely destroy the guy. Yeah, I feel like they work the best in in combine. These two guys. One have regeneration or tranquility, lesser resurrection and LE damage. The other one has healing wave devotion aura and double damage spell. So like two aura heroes. Uh, they, they're extremely powerful if you ask me. The best heroes for three nice. This guy is also not bad. Aka Akama is bad. Like, Akamu is arguably one of the worst heroes I've seen. So I'm gonna summon this guy. Yeah, go I'm gonna just go all out, to be honest. I'm just gonna go all out. And as fast as possible as well. Let's go. I see this by the way, but I'm gonna use crystals this time. So, masonry. Um, what was that? So, masonry, then ultimate weapon.
I might actually go for 4 masonry, because I lost too much HP on main. Like, that's just too much. Also need this empowerment. Ah, fuck, do I have time to research it? It's kind of not that slow of the research, so probably yes. I gained only 200 HP for that mercenary upgrade. He still has tier 3 barrack, like, that's just super weak. Yeah, my U my all my units have 7-7 seven, seven upgrades. Um, devotion Aura, Regeneration Aura, Super Unit Push. Like, the best passives for damage as well. need to aggro them on my on my main again first will I be fine hope so this guy has like full HP on everything um, let's continue with the damage upgrades for now I thought like I would see some damaged bases and I would decide which one to go for, but as of, as of this right now I have no idea what to go for. Can you stop shooting my main? Well and died. Wait, he's actually killing me? He's actually killing my army? No freaking way. How is that possible? I thought Wellen and uh, my super unit combination are like the best duo basically. Damn. Oh well. I think I just gotta repeat it then. Well, he's still doing the job, but yeah. Okay, ninth upgrade on damage incoming. What else is good now? Chance to block damage and extra HP. Not bad. Spell resistance on on, on non -he all non-hero units. Also not bad. Uh, chance to stun on each attack. Also not bad. Also not bad, I guess. I said to go with the tier 4 on mid. It's kind of early because Goblin is not dead yet, but I feel like the time is coming, so maybe it's it's better to go for it now than later. Um, could I abuse my crystals more? So let's go for mercenary for now. How is he defending it? There is only one tower gun. I have no idea. It's a blood sacrifice. So I have tier 4 barracks on each side, I'm going for masonry to protect my weak main, just in case. Uh, Troll has a lot of mana, Blood Elf actually ran out of mana, so... Oh, okay, now I'm shooting a lot. Yeah, my super unit now is doing the work. Just don't know. Should I save up or like, should I save up for what? I need to save up for for these perhaps and then he gonna push me back he's only now taking to tier 3 he's only now taking to tier 3 no freaking way he was tier 2 this whole time wow blood of really bumped up with these lancers i guess it's insane and green defended against this huge wave of units. Wow. Alright. Yeah, it's good to save up gold. I don't feel like I need these passives yet. And I like okay -ish, you know. It's like, I, I have, um, I needed that actually. Yeah, empowerment is not bad. Yeah, empowerment is not bad. Totally. Alright, I feel like the plan is uh, pretty simple. 
We're gonna send him again this, the same pack of uh, stuff. <laughs> and he's gonna probably collapse because he wasted all his gold on tier 3. So from mid I'm gonna send him like this duo heroes again. Um, bottom is coming, so I might actually use the crystals for both sides. Then he might go down, right? Might go down. This is unfortunate. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to send from the middle. But if I send Velen right now on the bottom, I feel like he might hold it, like here, and then I, I send Super Unit on top. <sighs> okay, Wave is coming, Wave is coming as well. Let's go like that, you wanna tank the damage, so they're not gonna approach the lane too early. I'm still gonna use the Z spell. Use one unit. Just really, really hope that they're not gonna go anywhere where they don't, they shouldn't go. Please, well, and don't go bottom. Don't go bottom, mate. I know it, there is like stuff going on, but go go up. Nice blood sacrifice. I don't give a fuck. Okay, Amarad actually is doing great job. Would be funny if he would shoot an ultimate weapon while my stuff is silenced. Oh my god, his barrack and base and everything is going down. Well, Marad is actually uh, killing this shithead. Well, uh, no! Well, uh, what the fuck? Oh no, this dumbass. Why did you go? Oh my god, you beggar. <clears throat> like, there was zero reason for him to go there. And he went regardless. Um. I don't know, I feel like, yeah, okay, it's time to get upgrades, so I think I feel like uh, spell damage reduction and crystal shards are not too bad. Let's get also armor. Check out GPM. I am second best GPM after red, but red is in big trouble. So you're gonna summon the chicken against my uh, hero right now, super unit. Green is still holding, I have no idea how, but he's still holding. Oh yeah, empowerment! Fucking, I forgot about it, man. I just forget, but like, this one is pretty important. That is a fucking pussy. I guess he didn't have gold for the chicken. The chicken hero. So we're gonna get a... Uh, passed through pass. Uh, Valen is on mid. The only hero that I'm not using is a Kama. Uh, but like, why, why use a Kama in the first place? No. I could get an ultimate weapon now, like a Mana Burn. I feel like Mana Burn would be pretty cool. This guy has uh, all upgrades as well, by the way. Uh, what's his foundation? Oh yeah, Beast Area. I can't, so I can't potentially go for the base, base trade for the mana burns. And I'm going to win because I have better regeneration. So I have crystal shards, now my towers and my... And my siege units have stun. Like, look, I have only two siege units and here I have like, yeah, two. So it really doesn't make sense, it's like only for the base defense, it's a base defense thing, right? You can't really stack up your your siege too much, so with stun chance is kind of pathetic. It's good when big army fights a hero, like they stun the hero right now, but I just don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna mana burn him, at least start doing so. 
Um, let's get them spell resistance. Let's get also and, and save up. I uh, save up because he's gonna react with the super unit, and I'm gonna send my super unit again. So I, I don't know, just how much gold do I have? Can I start sending super units on left and right? I think it's full HP. And I'm coming from all three sides. He does have four, tier 4 barracks everywhere. So that's good. The guy has 230 mana only. Um, so we are pretty much dominating him. I feel like I can afford it. Like, yeah. I have a very good economy right now for some reason. Uh, cleave. Vindicator chance to block damage. Just no. Yeah, they're pretty old. Oh my god. And I thought this guy was decent. Uh, where, where is your super unit mate? What is everything? I thought he was like so chill because he had full HP barracks and towers and almost full mana. Uh, kind of pathetic if you ask me. Let's finish the game fast. My units are pretty pricey. They have like 30% extra buy cost. Wait, I just wanna analyze the drainage more, so don't mind me. Uh, the stun is single target. It's not a LE or anything, right? Yeah, like, okay. I've been crystallized too often. Just wanna see more fights. Yeah, like my siege has been shooting this whole time. It's not really happening too often, is it? Just don't know. Tch. Heck. What are we doing this whole time there? Ah, GG. Yeah, crystallization, well... Even if you, okay, if you have only three siege units, right, and your chance to crystallize is uh, 30, 36%, so they're always gonna crystallize because it's three of them, right? I mean, almost always. There's a bit of RNG, but. I feel like it's too bad, yeah. I think it's too bad. My Vindicator tier 1 unit has 840 HP. If I were to give him rejuvenation, wouldn't be also too bad, I guess. Um, the armor does work on the heroes, so me increasing my iron skin by 4, resulting in my heroes having 49 armor. And this guy has uh, 37, and like Wellen has a little bit less, he doesn't have iron skin buff on him, but... I feel like yeah, this foundation for uh, the spell damage for the casters is probably the best. You can abuse your X spell and defend yourself against most like uh, you know one-sided situations like Kazakh with like Archimon, a lot of units pushing you. You just press the button and you kill everything. Or you 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 can even add a hero. Use that, then you add a hero, and yeah, then confirm 100%. Anything that pushes you, you're gonna kill it. Um. Then you have this Iron Skin buffed. Then you have Holy Light, which also gets buffed because of this thing. Then you have Resurrection that also gets more cast, casted more often. It still feels weird, like I'm just making assumptions what works and what doesn't. But yeah, on the paper it's like pretty simple. But these guys were kind of pepega. Green pushing me to tier 3. Red not, not getting tier 3 back. I mean main. And using so many heroes. Like... That's what you get for using so many heroes. You don't have gold for anything. You might have the best GPM, but like uh, if you subtract from that uh, five or six thousand gold you used for heroes, you're gonna end up having what you had. I started using heroes only when I was a tier three on main, 
and what I had like, yeah, it's just like all about now building experience with my heroes. So I, I summoned heroes only late game and look at the levels. Level 20, level 17, level 15. Like only late game and I climbed my heroes levels like pretty, pretty fast. So it's, I feel like you should not use heroes early game, making no sense. You send hero once on mid, he dies, you send him again, just to farm gold by the way. Just to farm middle by the way. And everyone else does, like this guy was sending, this guy was sending, 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 yeah, just go back. I would say, like, uh, regardless of how you play Dreenai, just abuse the X spell and you're gonna be fine. Alright, anyway, GB.